turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. And as you can see, I've got the budget torch in front of me, and I'm finally going to finish that video of where I took the sparkling grape juice bottle and made rods, but I never made showed what the figurines that you can make from it. But let's do a couple of them real quick. Be Why? Because I can, right? Right. I've been doing a lot of things since that last video of, of, of making the sparkling grape juice. Went to Las Vegas, which is what, my last video that I just did, and uh, explained a little bit of about it, and that was really excited about that. Okay, this is soft glass, and this is a propane oxygen torch. Well, actually, it's a propane settling torch, but I adapted it for propane. Settling oxygen torch, excuse me. Uh, dyslexia kicking in. Anyway, I adapted it for propane. And uh, just basically, it's a cutting tip on the end of a regular torch. And I just sort of screwed it on and it works. So that's sort of like a nice little torch to have, to say the least. Anyway... There we go. I'm sorry. I'm having a little bit of a a uh, wooden problem. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of things. One of them is, since I've got it, a nice little ball. I'm going to do a turtle. And you'll see it really quick. Just be patient. Making sure it's a cold weld and not a, a good fuse stick weld. And still something that you can get off of later. Now, the turtle is fairly simple. Round ball and then another one sort of underneath and then you press. And you got a nice little disc shape here. Not perfect. I'm not used to soft glass either and that's a little bit of the problem. Because boro melts at a different temperature and soft glass melts a lot faster than boro does. But you treat it about the same and you can get pretty good results. At this size, you can do a lot of things with soft, boro, whatever. Just got to work fast. Four legs. Press that down. Now, it doesn't matter, but you figure, okay, this is going to be the tail end. And then the head's going to be over here, and you got to just make sure you put the head between the two legs that you just put up there. Okay. Yeah, I missed it just by a little bit. Matter of fact, one of it sort of stuck to the, but it's doable. And the way to flatten all four legs the same, you heat up just the tips of them. And press. Let's see. There we go. Tapped it off. Fire polish where the cold weld was. And there you go for that. Now I'm going to do a quick snail. All the same deal. You make a nice round ball. This is going to put a little bit more stress in it than, than the, the turtle did. Round ball, you got to make sure you keep spinning it. If you don't spin it, as you can see, it's going a little cattywampus. Okay. Now you let it cool a little bit. Heat up just one side. Touch and twist. Snap it off. And you twisted clockwise on this side so on this side you got to twist, twist counterclockwise to make it even so that they're swirling in the same direction now again a cold weld on the top touch it too I'm going to go underneath about that much and that's going to be the base for the snail and of course, with the snail, you've got a front and a back already. Just got to figure it out. 
You can make it backwards, but somebody will notice. There's the head. And the tail goes off in the other direction. And you heat and press the body. And the antenna, you just got to make sure you heat and touch. Pull away. And make sure you're not just sticking it to, but you're fusing it in there. It makes a big difference. And pull away. Now let's tap that off. There you go. Fire polish where the cold weld was. And if you do it fast enough, you're going to be okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cheat a little bit. I know mo up to this point I've done nothing but um, you know, I've done nothing but use the tubing to itself from itself. But as I mentioned in the last video do talking about this, it somehow got really screwed up and stressed out because I didn't make something out of it immediately. And that was the big problem. Okay. I had to kick around and search for a piece of tubing to do the job. But this is Boro tubing. I know. I tried to tell you that I was going to do it straight from whatever, but I had to cheat. If you have some type of tubing to work with, it does help. Now, from here on in, it's going to be the soft glass from the sparkling grape juice bottle. And I'm going to just stick it to it, and it's going to stick for a little while. And it's going to stress just like anything else, but that's okay. I wanted to show you. Oh, 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 oh. That popped real good. I wanted to show you tubing made from this that I make on the end of this blow hose here. Oh yeah, that's stressing out real big. Okay, that's enough for that. There we go, we got a nice seal. Now we're going to blow it out. Bring it back a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. She's one of these. Still going to explode on me. Let me see. This is thinner. This ought to do it. I'm just throwing it in a flame and I'm so used to Boro and it's not exploding on me on Boro like this. But anyway. There we go. I'm making a little bit of a tubing here. I'm make it a little longer. I'll add some more glass to it right here. This is going to probably explode a little bit, but let's try to do it. Stressed out a little bit, too. Pew, 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 pew. Let's do this. <laughs> Warming it right in. Here we go. That'll be enough. And then I'll put a stem on it from there, too. That little lack orange bit is nothing but solid, so I'm going to blow it out a little bit. There it went. Nice and bulgy and round. Okay. Now I'm going to back on there it fell off <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a little vase little little vase but a vase blow that out a little bit more
There we go. That's going to be the stem to the to the vase down here where I'm holding it. It's not going to be that long, but it's going to be a stem. I also wanted to show you a little trick. Let me get this blown off on this end. There we go. Pencil point never hurts. Let's flare it out. Okay. One of the tricks I want to tell you about when it comes to a little base like this or, or, or see I when I first started didn't know how to make a nice handle for it or, or a base handle for it because of problems dealing with glass um, stressing out and cracking and breaking on me so what I ended up oh that cracked and broke right there isn't that nice right cracked right in oh it chipping right on up tells you I'm not paying much attention to what I'm doing there we go stressing right out maybe I could pull it out a little bit oh yeah it's frosting right up vitrification all over the place on this and our stem I'm going to put a cold weld, and I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to do it right here. Hold on to it so I can do the bottom. And my bases, what I used to do is sort of like a little tripod. And the tripod works. Instead of doing a, a, a nice round out or whatever, just extending three stems to it. Or you could put four, it doesn't matter, but tripod is the most less wobbly, I guess you could say, if we do it if you do it right. Might help if I had a flat surface. There you go. I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers. Oh, it snapped and cracked, of course it did. <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> but a bottle or a vase. Okay, and it stands. And those are the other two little things. The smaller you make these things, the less stress possible, the more chance of you having something that will survive the uh, flame. But the more, the bigger it is, the more stress and the more chance of it cracking and breaking. Okay, that's another little hint. But yeah, you could sit here all day long and make figurine after figurine. You know, I just did that, those two, uh, that one's ugly, but it still gives you the direction to go in. This is not, and some of you have better control over soft glass than I do by a long shot. And the uh, the palette is limitless. All you got to do is think about it, and you can make a horse. See, there's the neck to a horse. There's the head to a horse. And then you add some legs. If I could have done this when I first started. But no, you have to start 
somewhere and you have to learn from there how to make things work trial and error and error and error and cuts and burns and more error and more error you and when you give up that's when the glass is won if you keep coming back and keep trying that's where you can win and let the glass do your bidding practice practice and more practice even small things and again the smaller you make it with soft glass the more chance of it will survive without putting through the oven it, uh, I'm not saying that something like this can break and shatter and without the oven but um, the smaller it is the better chance of it surviving that's what I've got to say there but having an oven or at least for Mickey light to stick it in you know in a crock pot that would help things I didn't know then but I know now and again practice 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 and more practice all things are possible come on don't tell me I didn't put I didn't make that front leg a little long enough let's do that and just a little more there we go well, at least it can stand... Oh, we're going to have fun with you today, aren't you? Stands like that. And like that. Okay? But it can stand on its hind leg and tails. Yay! Let me get closer. Boom! Yeah. And it exploded. Whoa. Let's get up there. And look at these things. All right, come on. Focus. We have the uh, the vase. It's still a little warm, actually. And you have the snail. And you have uh, the little land turtle. Those are kind of cute as they are. Oh yeah, this one's still warm, and I'm putting my fingers on it. And of course, we have the horse you can accomplish things don't give up oops don't give up let's do this yeah don't give up there we are <laughs> hello i even have my uh what i call my i'll show you these i got the lenses off ebay and then got the dollar store sunglasses and popped them out and those are didymium lenses, and they will keep your eyes from getting burned up. Good thing to have. Again, shoestring budget sometimes gets you by, but if you got the money and you want to spend it, go for it. Thanks for watching, as always. Carpe vitro, and enjoy your day.